Hey guys, making some short ribs today. Um, this is pretty easy. And uh, yeah, here we go. So I usually go for um, English cut, but today we have, it's called Kalbi style, which is like a Korean cut, but we're still gonna make it the same way. Um, I've salt and peppered these. I have my veggies on standby. I like to do celery carrots, and I also have some onions and garlic here. I have the skillet with about a tablespoon of oil. We're gonna sear the meat first. So we'll work in batches. Whoa. Cool. Be more careful than that. I obviously can't film and cook at the same time, so you get the point, I'll put this down. All right, so because this is such a thin cut of meat, we're just gonna do like 30 seconds on each side. All right, so I've transferred the seared meat over here. Don't be afraid of the pink. They're gonna be cooked all the way through because they're gonna cook for about two hours. Now, I'm going to add to this like meat juice oil. I'm gonna add some veggies. All right, so I sauteed the vegetables for maybe four minutes and then I added the garlic last because it's the most sensitive and it smells really good. Just get ready. Um, I also just added about a quarter cup of water and then I added two bouillon cubes and we're gonna give this about two more minutes and then add it over to the meat. All right, and it should look something like this. We still have a little bouillon cube in there so I'm gonna put a baby to mouth burn. So once that's done, transfer. Okay, and then we'll put these veggies over the meat. Now usually this is like done in a Dutch oven um, that makes things a little easier, um, but we work with what we got during this pandemic, not being necessarily in our own homes, so, you guys hear hairspray? Oh, John, yes! Okay. Spread this all over. Yeah! Also, this song, like, every time the chorus comes, why are there different words every single time? I can never memorize this. If I ever had to do this show, I'd be like, watermelon, 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 watermelon. Perfect. All right, so that's done. Now, I'm a little concerned that there's not enough liquid in here, so I'm gonna add a tiny bit more liquid so that we have it just about, mm, it doesn't have to be covered in water, but we want it to really um, slow cook, so I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of water, cover it with foil, put it in the oven at 275 degrees, and we're gonna cook it for two to two and a half hours, depending on what kind of meat and how much meat you got. And this is what it looks like before I cover it with foil. Oh my gosh, it smells so good, guys. Oh. Okay, while that is in the oven, I think it's time that we start the mashed potatoes. Peel the potatoes. Cut this. Cut the potatoes into small chunks. Like that. Place into the water. We'll have them covered with water. And you want to salt the water as well. Here we go. Now is your moment to relax. So chill, clean up after yourself, I guess. And when the timer gets down to about uh, 40 minutes, that's when we will start the potatoes cooking. All right. Here's what I'm going to choose to do right now. Just want to stare at him all day. Okay, sir, that will be one tahina kebab with a side of spice from the salad. Would you like to That's a whole mood. 40 minutes! Let's bring these babies to boil. No, look. Alright, these potatoes are done. Because the fork goes like that. Yay. Alright, now if you're lucky enough to have a KitchenAid, <laughs> that's good. Threw this up in the KitchenAid. 
butter. Heavy cream. Put in a little yep. salt and pepper. And we're gonna go to work. I just took a foil oh, up yeah. and this is like, the way this smells is so incredible. Also behind the scenes, I also um, sauteed some baby Bella mushrooms and brown butter. So this is the dinner. Let's plate it.